क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम मोमेंटम लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम विल बी यूज्ड हेयर टू स्मॉल स्मूथ स्पीयर ए एंड बी ऑफ इक्वल रेडियाई एंड ऑफ मैसेज फोर के जी एंड एम के जी रिस्पेक्टिवली लाई ऑन अ स्मूथ हॉरिजेंटल प्लेन इनिशियली फियर बी इज एट रेस्ट एंड ए इज मूविंग टू वर्ड्स बी विद स्पीड सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड आफ्टर द कुलजन ए मूव विद स्पीड वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड बी मूव विद स्पीड थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड फाइंड द टू पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ द लॉस ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी ड्यू टू द कुलजन पार्टिकल ए दिस इज पार्टिकल बी मैस ऑफ पार्टिकल ए इज वी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एम ए दैट इज फोर के जी मैस ऑफ पार्टिकल बी इज एम के जी सो एम के जी मैस ऑफ पार्टिकल बी इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ पार्टिकल ए इज सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड वी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय यू ए इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ पार्टिकल ए इज सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड and particle b initial speed of particle b since the particle b is at rest so initial speed of particle b is zero final speed after the collision speed of particle a is uh, after the collision speed of a is 1.5 meter per second represented by b a speed of a uh, particle a after the collision 1.5 meter per second and the speed of particle b after the collision is uh, 3 meter per second and now we use here a law of conservation of momentum momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision m a u a plus m b u b is equal to m a v a plus m b v b now putting the values एम ए मैस ऑफ पार्टिकल इज फोर इनिशियल स्पीड इज सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड प्लस जीरो बिकॉज इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ पार्टिकल बी इज जीरो सो एम बी यू बी इज जीरो नो एम ए इज फोर V A is 1.5 plus M B mass of particle B is M V uh, speed after the collision of particle B is 3. Uh, from this equation, we can find the value of M, which is the mass of particle B. Uh, 24 is equal to Six plus three m. Uh, from here, m is equal to six six kg. This is the mass of six uh, six kg is the mass of particle 
V. Uh, sorry, uh, these are not particles, but these are spheres. Sphere A and B. These are spheres A and B. So mass of sphere B is six kg. Uh, we have to find the loss of kinetic energy due to the collision. Two possible values of loss of kinetic energy due to the collision. Now there are two cases. Number one cases. Uh, number one case is uh, case first is when A moves towards B after the collision, the speed. The direction of the speed of particle A uh, will be same in the same direction or maybe it, its direction um, of motion will be in the opposite direction. So there are two cases. Case 1 Uh, kinetic energy before collision is we are finding uh, the loss of kinetic energy kinetic energy before collision is 1 over 2 mv square m is before collision we are taking the uh, mass of particle A and speed, initial speed of particle A this will be 1 over 2 mv square m is uh, 4 v is 6 6 square 1 over 2 mv square so uh, we get uh, 72 joules this is the kinetic energy before the collision now we find the kinetic energy after the collision kinetic energy after collision uh, now we will add two kinetic energy of, uh, of two uh, sphere, uh, sphere kinetic energy after the collision of sphere A is 1 over 2 mv square m is 4 but v now we are taking this v after the collision speed of part uh, sphere a is 1.5 so, so 1 over 2 mv square v is 1.5 square plus kinetic energy of particle uh, of sphere b Kinetic energy of sphere V, M is, we have just found the value of M is 6 of the sphere B and the speed is uh, 3 meter per second after the collision. So, 1 over 2 MV square V, uh, M is 6 kg, V is 3, 3 square. We are adding these two terms. After simplifying, we get uh, 31.5 joules. So, so, loss in kinetic energy, loss in kinetic energy due to collision will be uh, kinetic energy before collision 72 and after the collision kinetic energy 31.5 so we get 72 minus 31.5 uh, we get 40.5 joule this is the loss of kinetic energy uh, for case 1 no case 2 Now again we are finding the mass but now we are, uh, uh, it is a chance to uh, that part, uh, sphere A after the collision 
the direction of its motion will be in opposite direction so we are we will take the uh, this speed the direction uh, since it is moving it is a chance to move the sphere a in the opposite direction so we are taking this speed of the plane in negative so there will be a different value of uh, m again we are using the uh, law of conservation of momentum m a u a plus m b u b is equal to m a v a plus m b v b putting the values m is uh, m a is mass of uh, sphere a is 4 and the speed is 6 plus 0 because uh, sphere b is at rest initially is equal to m a is again 4 but now we are taking this speed v a after the collision it uh, may come back or in opposite direction after the collision we are taking v a is negative negative 1.5 plus m b is uh, m in mass of b we will find that is m and the speed of sphere b after the collision is 3 so from here Uh, 24 is equal to 24 plus 6 is equal to 3m uh, from here m will be 10 kg in this case mass of sphere b is 10 kg now uh, we are in the same way we will find the kinetic energy before collision and kinetic energy after the collision so, so kinetic energy before collision in this case is same 1 over 2 mv square m is force v square is 36 we get 72 joules but kinetic energy after the collision will be different uh, from the first is kinetic energy after collision kinetic energy of 1 over 2 mv square kinetic energy of sphere a 1 over 2 m v square Minus 1.5 square plus 1 over 2 kinetic energy of uh, sphere V 1 over 2 m now m is 10 V square that is 3 square so we get after calculation we get 49.5 now the loss of kinetic energy. Will be seventy two minus forty nine point five. Uh, we get twenty two point five joules. This is the answer. So these are two possible values of loss of kinetic energy after the collision. Forty point five joule loss of kinetic energy for case one and for case two. loss of kinetic energy is 22.5 joules